This is Happy Families Podcast with Dr. Justin Coulson. We're Luke and Susie, parents of three little boys, and this is the podcast for those of us who are time-poor parents who just want answers now. It's no secret that Australia has been named one of the most obese countries in the world, wow. uh, which is, you know, little... Because people like us keep talking well, about it. Well, <laughs> it's little wonder uh, in a country yeah. where we are, we are quite fortunate. We have access to all of this food and goodness. We also have access to the outdoors, yes. but we don't use it and our kids aren't using it. To talk about this with us, Dr. Justin Coulson from haveyourfamilies.com.au. Um, times have changed because when I was a kid, we spent all our time outdoors, and now the internet's arrived. Yeah, uh, we've got we've got screen ages, haven't we? We've got kids that are, oh. are streaming instead of dreaming at night time, mm. and um, and then they're sitting in front of screens. I mean, re- research is telling us really clearly that kids are spending way too much time in front of screens. And and, and I came across a study, Susie, uh, that was done in Canada, uh, looking at, at something like what was it, thirty seven. 38 countries and Australian children in terms of their overall physical activity, Australian ch- children get a D minus, D minus as in ABCD. Getting a D minus for anything would have horrified me when I was a student. We're talking about the importance of getting outdoors. Dr. Justin Coulson, it is the Happy Families podcast. More next. Family life is pretty tough going sometimes. Most days are a struggle between strong-willed children and frazzled parents. And while no parent wakes up in the morning saying, today's the day I'm going to ruin everyone's lives, it sometimes feels like that by the end of the day. 21 Days to a Happier Family is the number one parenting book by Dr. Justin Coulson. For parents who want their kids to be better, themselves to be calmer, and their family to be happier. Now the book is also available as an online video course. In the program you'll find specific strategies to help you be at your best, evidence-based ideas to strengthen your relationship with your children, research-proven practices to improve understanding between you and your child, discipline strategies that work because they're about discipline and not punishment, and more tips to make your family happier and as a special offer only for podcast listeners use the code podcast at checkout for a massive $50 saving 21 days to a happier family the online video course by Dr. Justin Coulson get it now from happyfamilies.com.au it's the happy families podcast with Dr. Justin Coulson and we're talking about getting outdoors today after a a little bit of a study showed that Australia gets a D minus when it comes to our outdoor time with kids what what is it uniquely about Australia because the internet's gone everywhere and screens have gone everywhere why have why have we sort of adapted so much from being the outdoor play kids to to the screen kids well, there's a few reasons. The, 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 there's the issue of active play. It seems that when it comes to uh, Australia, we are all the way down, all the way down the list. We just don't do a lot of active play. Now, I know a lot of people are probably listening to that and going, uh, yeah, we do, but, but as, a, as a general rule, we don't. Another big one is that we don't do active transportation. You know, Remember when we used to walk to school or ride our bikes yeah. to school? Yeah. We've got so many studies now that show that that's just not happening anymore. Um, the, the research also tells us that in terms of Aussie kids, we get a D minus because of all of the sedentary behaviours that we have. That is, we sit on our backsides and we stare at screens. Um, we, we don't do too bad with family and peers and getting out and about. We get a C plus there. Uh, our school environment's okay as well. Um, but, you know, one of the things that should be in our favour, and you already touched on it, Susie, is our, our community and our environment is designed to be outside. I mean, we're in such a great country for it, but we just, we don't make use of it. And one, one big issue, at least in the report that I came across, indicated that government, government initiatives and government strategies and government investments may be part of what's letting us down. Um, you know, we're not, we're not involved in organized sport as much because that, that's so expensive now and people want their Saturdays to just have a life because we're so busy during the week. And then um, the, the lack of really great public spaces. Um, in, in this report, we, we, we basically got a fail compared to countries like Switzerland and Denmark and Norway and Belgium and a lot of the European countries and even New Zealand uh, who have who have really invested heavily in getting people outside and giving them reasons to be outside, we're just, we're just not making the grade. It's, it's such an interesting thing. We know that uh, we've just moved house um, because the house we're in, we didn't have 
a yard and a space for our kids to play and we found that we saw the difference when, when we went camping or when we went on holidays and they were outside, yeah. how different though they were. Uh, so we've moved house to be in a space where we can have yards and a swimming pool and, and, and things so that, so that we want to get them outside because it, it's better for the way they function in the rest of their life. I've just done the same thing, and, and, and unfortunately in Australia we're going the other, other way, particularly in our major cities, there's more and more and more of a push to, um, to get people into higher density housing. Look, that's not necessarily the be-all and end-all though, because you've got, you've got a lot of the European countries where there's very high density housing, and you've got people yeah, with can. two and three and four kids living in apartments, yeah. but again, in those places they'll usually have a, a, a high level of green space, they'll have fabulous bike paths, but they encourage people to be outside and they really do live their lives outside. The apartment is just for eating and sleeping. Yeah. It's an interesting thing to think about and I guess if we're conscious of it, we can do something differently as far as in, yeah. engaging our children differently to, to get outside. And, in, and and we need to as adults as well to model that. That's the, that, that's the big one, Susie. I was going to say, if you're looking for a couple of tips for how to get your kids active, the number one thing is to be an example yourself. Uh, the number two thing is to make sure that they get enough sleep and the number three thing is to get them off their screen so that they have a healthy digital diet and they have lots of physical activity and you know have a, have a whole and balanced life. Get, getting them off their screens and uh, getting them to have enough sleep sounds really easy. Yeah. <laughs> two out of three ain't bad, right, Justin? <laughs> Dr. Justin Coulson from happyfamilies.com.au. Thank you again for your time. Great talking. Thanks, Luke. Thanks, Susie. For more info on all of Justin's books, podcasts and programs, you can jump online to happyfamilies.com.au. And to find out how to have Justin speak at your school or you can come along to your organisation as well, go to justincoulson.com.